All right, well, I'm KC9ASC, my name's Eric, and uh, just comparing these two radios here, I'm showing you uh, the Retevis, which is very similar to the UV390 or the UV380, uh, and this is a TYT UV380. Uh, they're both VUHF, VHF, uh, and what I want to show you that was a little bit different is this is running the factory firmware, which is the same firmware uh, as the TYT as far as the way it looks. Uh, it's the original firmware. The menus are the same, the buttons are the same. Really not much of a difference between the two. Uh, what I did differently with the TYT is this radio now has the OpenGD77 firmware on it. And uh, as you can see, you can make changes to the screen layout. It shows the percentages up in the corner. It shows the color code, power settings. Um, and it shows what mode that you're using. I also have a timer set so that the screen will uh, will shut off when it's not in use. Save battery, that's all. Uh, but it, it'll show you the name of your zone, what channel in your zone that it, it, you're in. Uh, it does quite a bit, so I know that uh, you know, there are some differences, but uh, just after using the, the, the UV380 with that OpenGD77 uh, firmware, I noticed that the radio is much more responsive. I'm gonna show you the boot up time. So it powers off, powers on, and just like that, it's ready to go. Uh, so I'm gonna compare that to the startup time on the, the original firmware. And it's a little bit slower. It's a little bit slower. And it's my friend's radio that I was working on. And as you can see, just the radio is a lot more responsive. The menu, scrolling through the menus, uh, you know, it just, it, it just, everything seems to be a lot more uh, responsive and quick. So I just wanna share that with you guys. And I think that you'll uh, enjoy tinkering with the uh, the OpenGD77 firmware on these radios. Um, we, I'm possibly going to do this one next, but it's not my radio, so I'm going to try and see if uh, you know, if I show them this video and I show them some other uh, uh, features. There, there, are, there are some pros and cons. Uh, you do lose the ability to, pr to program some of the side buttons on here, like these buttons. So if you want to keep the uh, factory firmware for that purpose, then you should. Uh, right now, I just have the, uh, the power setting. If you click it once, it'll change the power setting. If you hold it down, it'll change the zone. Yeah zone up zone down so I mean it's not really something that's that important to me uh, another thing I noticed is you lose the, the dual VFO capability so you're not going to be monitoring two different talk groups at the same time or two different frequencies uh, everything would be in one VFO so that's the only downside but it's the, the speaker sounds great on the radio uh, overall uh, I have no uh, no complaints about running this radio uh, with the open GD 77 firmware again these are both uh, very similar this is the RTS 3 uh, this is the UV380.